Actually, my presentation is about the effect of uh, temperature and climate change on the spontaneous pregnancy losses. And uh, most of the previous studies on this topic uh, analyzed the association between uh, temperature and the risk of stillbirth. So they focused uh, on late uh, fetal deaths, uh, which accounts uh, for less than 10% of all clinically observed uh, pregnancy losses. And uh, there are some studies that use panel data uh, uh, and uh, apply the uh, fixed attack approach and uh, estimated causal effects, but uh, they also uh, focus on specific outcomes like um, uh, early termination of pregnancy, which included both uh, spontaneous and uh, induced abortion. So in short, uh, causal evidence uh, about the impacts of temperature exposure and spontaneous pregnancy losses is limited, and our knowledge, knowledge is, um, is incomplete. And um, also there are some important questions uh, that remained unanswered uh, by the previous literature. You can uh, see some of uh, them here. And uh, so, so we try to add to this literature, and uh, in our study we, we analyze the effect of temperature on, on the spontaneous pregnancy loss rate. We use uh, administrative data from Hungary for uh, three and a half decades. Uh, uh, this is a, a unique data set that uh, uh, covers every uh, clinically observed spontaneous uh, pregnancy losses. And so we have this uh, rich data set and uh, we apply fixed effects uh, panel model and we can estimate uh, immediate and delayed effects uh, and uh, we project the impacts of climate change, not, not just the overall effect, but uh, the effects by seasons as well. Okay, um, as I said, um, information on, on spontaneous pregnancy losses uh, comes from uh, administrative registries, the registries of the Hungarian Central Statistical Office. Uh, we have access to the individual level pregnancy losses, losses and uh, from these uh, pregnancy loss data, we created a, a county by week level data set and, and the outcome variable uh, of this study is the pregnancy loss rate, which is defined as the number of spontaneous pregnancy losses in a given county per week per um, 100,000 women aged uh, 15, 44. Okay, uh, the temperature data comes from the European Climate Assessment and Dataset Project. Uh, we have a high resolution grid that data set of the main temperature. And uh, like uh, with the pregnancy loss data, we created a county by week level data set. And um, to describe the temperature conditions in a given county and given week, uh, we use the number of days uh, when the daily mean uh, temperature falls uh, into different temperature categories. The lowest uh, category contains days, uh, oops, contains days uh, with, uh, with a mean temperature less than uh, minus five degrees Celsius, and the highest category contains uh, days uh, when the daily mean temperature is over 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, climate projections uh, are from uh, the NASA Earth Exchange Global Daily Downscape Projection data set. Uh, like the temperature data, it's a grid data set, and we have uh, two SSP scenarios, uh, at worst case climate scenario, and the uh, other one is a, a more optimistic uh, scenario. And we have uh, 30 climate models, and uh, what we did is that we calculated with the model uh, temperature changes, with the model changes in the, in the annual temperature distribution for each decade between uh, 2020 and 2099, and we used uh, the years between uh, 1990 and 2014 as a baseline period. Okay, and uh, this is the equation uh, we estimated. On the left-hand side, you can see the spontaneous pregnancy loss rate in county C, year Y, and uh, calendar week uh, W. And on the right-hand side, uh, the variables of interest are, are the Ts. Uh, yes. These are the, 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 the number of days in, in, in the different temperature categories. 
and the uh, precipitation, humidity, global radiation, and the share of non-working days are controlled for. In the baseline specification, we have a county year and a calendar week fix effects, and we allow a seasonal change over time by, by uh, introducing a calendar week specific quadratic time trends. Okay, and to, to project the, the impact of climate change, uh, we use the temperature coefficients from the previous equations and we multiply it uh, by the projected temperature changes, uh, which, is, which, are, uh, which are denoted by the delta T. Okay, and now the results. Uh, uh, this figure shows the beta coefficients from the first equation, and what you can see here is that uh, compared to the reference temperature category, uh, colder temperatures slightly decrease uh, the spontaneous pregnancy loss rate, uh, whereas uh, higher temperatures uh, increase it. So it's a nonlinear uh, relationship. Uh, there is no difference between the uh, colder temperature categories, but above the reference category, the higher the uh, temperature, the higher the, the spontaneous pregnancy loss rate. And um, looking at, uh, at, at, at the highest uh, temperature category, you can see that uh, each uh, day with a mean temperature over 25 degrees Celsius increases the pregnancy, weekly pregnancy loss rate by 1.4%. Uh, okay, we tested the sensitivity of these results by um, by alternative model specification, we experimented with fixed effects, fixed effects, um, time trends. Uh, we, uh, we experimented with uh, calculation of the standard that was clustering, uh, introducing uh, spatial autocorrelation. We used narrower temperature categories, and uh, none of these changes influenced the conclusion. So the results are pretty robust. And we have a falsification test with uh, future weather data. And uh, we have zero effects here, as we expected. OK, next we, we, we uh, examine the, which period of pregnancy is, mo is most sensitive to, to heat. And what we find is that uh, uh, exposure to hot days has a stronger impact impacting the first uh, half of the pregnancy, especially before week 12. Uh, but um, the estimates for the later uh, pregnancy losses are quite noisy. Uh, yeah, but still, uh, that's a, uh, an important result, I think. And we also uh, examined the dynamics of this relationship by introducing lagged uh, temperature variables and uh, what we find is that uh, the effect of uh, the lag temperatures are, are zero. Uh, so it means that uh, the immediate increase that you can see at lag zero or, 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 in, the, or in the baseline results uh, is not due to a temporal displacement of some pregnancy losses. So high temperature uh, changes uh, the, the future out outcome. Uh, of some ongoing pregnancies, uh, so from, from live birth to a, a spontaneous pregnancy losses, for example. And we have similar res results with four legs. Okay, and uh, finally, the impact of climate change. Uh, as I said, we, we simply uh, multiply the beta coefficients, coefficients with uh, the projected temperature changes. And uh, uh, what you can see here is that the, the risk of pregnancy loss uh, will increase in the 23rd century. And actually, for the last decade, for the 90s, the median projections suggest an increase of 2.2% in the worst case climate scenario and 1.1% in the, in the more optimistic climate scenario. But uh, uh, climate change uh, affects uh, the seasons unevenly. So uh, the risk of uh, pregnancy loss is unaffected uh, during the winter months, but uh, uh, in spring and autumn, and particularly in the summer months, 
uh, is projected to be uh, um, substantially elevated. Okay, and just a quick conclusion. Okay, uh, so uh, in this research, we used uh, administrative data for uh, a survey five long, year long period, and what we found that the exposure to hot temperatures increases the spontaneous pregnancy loss rate in a European country with a continental climate. And uh, I think an important result is that uh, high temperature changes the outcome of some pregnancies and not just the timing of some pregnancy losses. And uh, based on this historical relationship, we project that climate change will increase uh, the risk of pregnancy loss in the 21st century in Hungary. And uh, this uh, increased risk is uh, especially large uh, during the summer months. Yeah. Thank you. I think. Thank you.